Buenos Hello everyone, this is Glenn Irvin, Irv Spanish, and this is a video about how to go ahead and embed an entire Google folder, Google Drive folder, right into your Schoology course as basically a page. Uh, the reason why you would might want to go ahead and do things like this is to be able to add elements uh, throughout the year for your students or for your staff, whether those be updates for staff members or for students, various different documents that you're going ahead and storing in one place. Instead of just adding an individual link, you can add the entire link for the whole folder and embed it right into a page inside of Schoology. Uh, first of all, I'd like to give credit to my colleague who is amazing and awesome, Paul Schlangen, who actually sh showed me this idea, taught me this idea here. And I am uh, going to include this uh, text here that you're going to need to be able to go ahead and do what I'm talking about. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into the Google Drive and then find a folder that we want to go ahead and share. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and go to this I have a MacBook uh, folder. I have MacBook now what video and I'm gonna, I want to go ahead and share this uh, folder. So I want to try to get a shareable link. So I'm going to get that shareable link there and turn that on and I'm going to just copy this right here. So just copy that and go back to a uh, Google Doc and what I would do is just find a space to be able to paste this here. And the part that we're going to be working with is this part where it says after the ID this section right here. So we're going to work with this ID section right here. So I'm going to go ahead and and make sure that I can copy this section here. Now, the rest of the entire formula that you're going to need or the embed code that you're going to need is actually right here where it starts iframe. So I'm going to make sure to provide this for you. And all you need to do is change this part that says folder ID and replace it with the folder ID that we're going to work with. So in this case, it's this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it right here where it says folder ID. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy this whole entire iframe here because I want to stick this into a Google or sorry, into a Schoology page. So I'm going to go ahead and go add materials and then add page. And we want to stick this iframe right in there. So we're going to call this MacBook Now What? That's what I think it was called. And then I'm going to go ahead and say I want to insert image media and from the web and media. You can insert it right in here. Of course, we could just toggle to the switch to HTML also. We could go like this. And I believe this would work also if we just stuck it in uh, the frame like that. Sometimes you want to change, for example, the width to 100% and the height to whatever it might be. But for right now, we're going to just keep it like it is and uh, leave it like this. And then we're going to uh, make sure to display in line because we want it to actually show up here. And I'm going to press create. And let's see if it hopefully worked. It should appear at the bottom of my page here. So let me go ahead and scroll down. And then let's see if we find it down here. And there it is. You can start seeing it already that the page uh, now has the Google Drive folder embedded inside of it. So in this case, it just has a bunch of these little uh, GIFs in here, or sorry, these little pics and some audio files and so on and so forth uh, that we use for this video. So this can be anything you want. And the reason, again, why you would might want to go ahead and do something like this and embedding a folder, a whole folder into a uh, Schoology course, I'm thinking about things like things that change. So you're adding new documents, new materials, and you want the students to be able to access those things without having to go ahead and add individual links to each one of those folders. So there's a lot of variety of purposes or a lot of purposes for this kind of uh, magic here. So if you have any questions, go ahead and let me know. I'm going to provide this super important doc here so that you can go ahead and just copy and paste what I did there too. And remember that all we're doing is going inside of the Google Drive folder and then sharing right here where it says I want to share, uh, get a shareable link and then be able to go ahead and share that right there. If you have any questions, let me know. Adios. Hasta la vista.